spring ball at Nebraska has finally started. And one of the biggest questions around the program, like many programs across the country, is the quarterback position. Now, we know we have Adrian Martinez, who uh, has a ton of talent and has demonstrated it, but we have Luke McCaffrey transferring. So the job seems to be Adrian Martinez's. And yes, we have some younger quarterbacks who have talent that can be developed in that room. But for the sake of this video, I just want to talk about how I think Adrian Martinez can take the next step to develop as a quarterback. And we're going to watch some film of kind of what I think he needs to do and kind of what I think he can do to take that next step as a quarterback. Before we dive into that, I just want to kind of plug our channel real quick and just if you like any quarterback related content, quarterback film breakdowns like the one we're about to do or how we assess and screen quarterbacks in the weight room and how it transfers to the field, please consider giving this channel a subscription, like the video if you like it, comment if you have anything to comment and we'll continue to try to get better. Enough of that YouTube plug. Let's go ahead and dive into what the video is actually about, Adrian Mart Martinez, and how I think he can take the next step as a quarterback, and which will help elevate the Nebraska program as a whole, right? So everyone knows Martinez is a great talent, has a strong arm, very athletic, can make any throw, uh, can make any defender miss, and a lot, brings a lot of exciting plays to the to the table. So I'm not going to spend this video talking too much about that or diving too much into detail. The Nebraska fan base knows what he's capable of. It's doing what we have been able to get done lately is to take care of the football and be consistent. And I'm going to reference a quick article uh, from Saturday Tradition, which you may or may not be familiar with. They do a good job covering Big Ten football. You can I'll link this article down below. Uh, but it's over Nebraska and over Martinez. And this is a quote from the quarterback coach of Nebraska, and it's talking about uh, Adrian Martinez. He says, no more freaking turnovers. He's got to take care of the damn football. Uh, again, that's from Saturday Tradition. I'll link it below if you want to read the full article, but that's kind of one of the biggest keys the article talks about in him just being consistent. If he can be consistent, Nebraska can be a, a, a damn good football team. And how can he be consistent? I think it comes into, there's a few ways how. Take what the defense gives him, which we're going to watch on film, okay? Obviously, take care of the ball is number one, okay? Let's assume we're taking care of the ball. We're going to take what the defense gives you. I'm going to go through my progressions. I'm going to trust the play call. I'm going to play within the play, okay? Trust your progressions. When you combine that with, with his ability to, to make the big play, which we'll see at the very end of the video, then you have a potential... Uh, you have potential improvement at the quarterback position, which is potential improvement from the Nebraska team overall. So just to recap, we want to take care of the football, of course. We want to give the def take what the defense gives us, play within the play, right? Go into the progressions, trust my read, and combine that with my big play ability. So with all that said, let's go ahead and dive into some film. We're going to watch uh, some clips against Purdue and some big plays against Rutgers, and then we're going to kind of come back around to wrap it up. But again, the if he can work on these things and get better at the consistency – through these style of plays, and I think Nebraska can, Nebraska can take the next step as a program, and Adrian Martinez can take the next step as a quarterback. So here's a good example of Martinez being patient and giving what the defense allows, right? Like taking what the defense gives him. He's going to buy time by sliding to the left of the pocket, trusting his offensive line up front, which they do a good job protecting him. We're going to see a crossing route come across, shallow, a shallow crosser. He hits him, and they're able to get a good play. Doesn't force anything, just takes the defense, gives him. Let's go ahead and watch this play. Watch the, the end zone angle uh, after we watch the sideline side angle. Here comes the crosser. Buys time by time, eyes downfield, takes the simple route, but ends up being a first down, a big play. Plays like that will, will, will help take Martinez's game to the next level. Just the simple stuff. Let's watch this, this angle here. Goes through his progressions, sees the crosser route. That's a good job by Martinez there. Here's another good example of Martinez taking what the defense gives him, and it's a very simple and easy play, but again, he decides to take it and it ends up being a big play. Uh, we're going to see a slant route here that middle field is going to be wide open. There's no one here. The slot corner is going to kind of drift out here, and Martinez does a good job recognizing middle field's open and hitting the slant. Again, taking what the defense gives him. Let's go ahead and watch the play. We'll watch two angles here. Here comes the blitz. Martinez knows that. Wide open. Gets a first down. We'll, we'll take 11, 12 yards every single time. Let's watch the end zone angle here. Watch how simple this is. Backer blitzes, DB off, wide open middle of the field. Simple but productive. So here's the last example of 
kind of taking what the defense gives him that I want to show again against Purdue. But you're, we're going to see Purdue bring six. The middle field is going to be wide open. Martinez takes that quick, the, or the, the shallow crosser, and ends up being a big play. But in, the, in a Scott Frost offense, the whenever defense blitzes, uh, his offense, they should be able to pick that apart. So this is a good example of you know what we want the offense to look like consistently, not just bits and pieces and here and there. So it's it's about con- consistently putting these string of plays together, which Martinez did a good job against Purdue of taking what the defense gives him. Let's go ahead and watch this play. Watch six people come, middle of the field wide open. Good job by Martinez. Gets a big gain there. Ends up getting a first down. Let's go ahead and watch the behind the center angle. Both backers come, takes what the defense gives him. That's the recipe for success, especially in this offense. Let the defense beat themselves. Here's a great job of Martinez going through his pro- progressions, trusting his protection. Purdy only brings three, I believe. We'll see in one second, but all line does a great job. He's able to go through his progressions and ends up hitting a big play uh, as opposed to taking off and run with it or trying to force it when nothing is there. He goes through his progressions and kind of trusts his read. Uh, again, this would be this is big uh, in his development and his uh, potential growth as a quarterback, which he shows he can do and, and when he trusts the play and trusts the progressions that it can be successful. Let's go ahead and watch this play. You can only bring three, go through progressions, progressions, watch the receiver come open down to the bottom of the screen. The ball. Let's go ahead and watch this behind the center angle. This will give a little better angle. You'll be able to see the receiver catch it here. <clears throat> but again, just a good example of him going through his progressions here. Left goes to right, back to left. Big play there. Here's another good job of Martinez going through his progressions and, and taking, not just taking the defense gives him, but ends up being a big play, uh, but it's him trusting the play call, right? Playing within the play. So we're going to see him go through his reads. He's going to hit a, uh, a big play for a deep out over here, which again demonstrates his arm strength, which he has plenty of, right? Let's go ahead and watch this play. We're going to see both backers stay in towards this running back, leaving this hole wide open. He takes it. That's a good ball. Again, good, good good read on his part. Let's go ahead and watch the uh, end zone angle. We'll see him go through that read. Looks off here, sees backer sit down. Good ball there. Martinez is always going to have that big playability, right? And so I'm just going to show a few examples of that, which any Nebraska fan knows. But if you compare, think if, if we, not compare, but if we combine doing the simple things, taking what the defense gives him with this big playability, Martinez could be dangerous and could take the next step as a quarterback. We're going to see some good acceleration here. It's going to watch this play. There's the hole that he hits. Boom. Safety's got no shot one-on-one against Martinez. Sorry about you. Go on the end zone. Let's watch the behind the center angle. We're going to see his 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 acceleration here, which is impressive. But again, combining the small stuff with the big playability it would be huge for Adrian Martinez. We're going to watch this play. Hits the hole. Safety's got no shot. Martinez knows it too. See ya. Here's another example of Martinez and his big playability. Again, a, a big run against Rutgers. We're going to watch him scramble here. We'll just do one angle. This is a sideline view. Makes the guy miss. Goes out. Look at all that space he has. Martinez will beat you every time. Good job getting out of bounds, avoiding the hit, not risking a turnover. Again, just to recap, we want to take care of the football. And how do you take care of the football? You get you take what the defense gives you. You trust your reads and go through your progressions, and you combine that with your big plays. That's how I think Adrian Martinez can take the next step as a quarterback and continue to grow. We saw some of that last year, too. The last four games, they went 2-2 two and two with Martinez starting, uh, and both those losses was by a touchdown or less. Uh, I know there were some fumbles that he had, which you, you want to cut down on, but we already talked about eliminating those 
problems. But as far as a passing, as a passer goes, he had nine total touchdowns combined rushing and passing those last four games, only two interceptions through the air, and a completion percentage of almost 78. So that, those are pretty good numbers. But again, you want to limit those uh, turnovers and, and, the, and the fumbles. Uh, but again, I think Adam Martinez can take the next step. He has all the talent in the world. It's just going through these little things and being consistent. That's all I got for us today. Again, if you like this video, please consider giving us a subscription. Tell us what you like, what you don't like, how we can do better. We continue to try to improve, and we'll see you next time.